friends, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a reading for July 15th to the 31st. If you do have uh, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, it could resonate for you. Keep in mind that the roles can be reversed with who you're dealing with. And cross-watchers are always welcome. So I always pre-shuffle and cleanse prior to my reading. So I'm just going to jump into it. So let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of July. What's happening for Capricorns, Spirits, Angels, Guidance, Ancestors? What's happening for Capricorns, Spirits, Angels, Guidance, Ancestors? Okay, give me a moment. Too many cards here, just give me a sec, I'm going to pre-shuffle. Tell me what's happening for Capricorns for mid-July to the end of July. What's happening for Capricorns? Thank you. I see burdens here. Ten of Wands, you got burdens going on and a lot of stress for you. Something's very stressful for you. Uh, a lot of work. Thank you. Ace of Swords. One second, guys. Tell me more for Capricorns. What advice do you have for Capricorns, Spirits, Angels, Guidance, Ancestors? Okay. You're trying to balance work, family, life, all that stuff. You're in some kind of boss, authoritative figure. You're very traditional. You lose your, excuse me, you use your logic. You're creating structure. You're trying to be disciplined with your finances and your money. Um... I feel like this is more of a money situation here, y'all. It's just, uh, yeah. You're taking the lead at work. A lot of achievements in your career. You're in a respected position. You have a lot of wisdom. You're very generous. You're very stable. Yeah, you definitely take the lead. Very strong leadership energy in this reading here. With the Emperor and the King of Wands. You could also have Aries or... Yeah, you could have a lot of Aries in your chart. You're very giving. So let's see what the issue here with the Ten of Wands. I feel like it's a work situation. You're just trying to juggle everything. You're trying to concentrate. So yeah, I feel like work is looking good for you. I feel like right off the bat, it's like you, obviously you're not going to give up. Like Capricorns are very strong, okay? Let me tell y'all. So when they set their mind to something in a work situation and they want to reach a certain financial goal, they're going to reach it, okay? You better believe that. So Ten of Wands here, it's just a lot of burdens for you. So I feel like, um, you know, they're trying to tell you to keep going. Tell me more for Capricorns. You just got a lot of responsibility right now. <clears throat> Something wants to come out. My throat is like chip choppy right now. Give me a second. Study is on the top of my deck. Okay, I feel like that's a message for you guys. Yeah, very strong, authoritative, mentor, boss figure here. You got the King of Swords. You could have some good news about your finances coming here with the Ace of Cups. You could have financial help. Could be a loan or some kind of um, investment. Something is like happening for you guys. You have some kind of creativity with earning money. New emotions at your job. 
something here is very prosperous for you guys and I feel like it's just I feel like a very good energy coming your way so I'm going to clarify the five of swords but there could be some kind of um, workplace tension here conflicts about money taking advantage of somebody we're going to clarify that or just tensions about money so we're going to clarify the five of swords you got the ace of pentacles so i feel like there's something that you're overcoming here with a new work or a new investment new financial journey but i feel like it's very good you're just, uh, you're just going through it right now five of swords can you clarify that please thank you Positivity brings career awards, high hopes about your job. You're going to reach your goals. You're going to reach your financial goals. Yeah. So I feel like you're still going through it, but it's something's coming okay something something that you invested in is gonna happen for you is what i'm seeing here creative projects passion for work financial relief and to struggles you're inspired while you're making money so when you hit this big investment or whatever it's gonna push you to go harder getting things done with the knight of swords focus on your career big money moves you're taking action on it oh, I can say no more you got the chariot card you're very determined to reach your financial goals uh, taking action uh, very strong ambition Queen of Swords so you're gonna get some respect in your work fields you're gonna get some clarity with the king uh, the Queen of Swords here you'll get some clear clarity uh, regarding your finances money 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 this is a very strong money rating for capricorns and they you guys do love money so it's only it only makes sense here so uh tell me more for capricorns i don't know what's going on with my cards right now no what advice do you have for capricorns what advice do you have for Capricorns? Y'all give me a second. Jesus Christ, my cards all messed up. I'm sorry, y'all. You gotta give me a moment. advice do you have for Capricorn spirits angels guidance ancestors what advice do you have for Capricorns what advice do you have for Capricorn spirits angels guidance ancestors thank you Aquarius so Aquarius can be very prevalent right now for you guys tell me about Capricorns what advice do you have for them could be doing business deals with an Aquarius what advice do you have for Capricorns? You are on the Aquarius uh, Capricorn side, so you could have a lot of Aquarius in your chart. You're right before Aquarius. What's happening for Capricorns? Give me advice for Capricorns. Give me advice for Capricorns, spirits, angels, guidance, ancestors. Give me advice for Capricorns. Spirits, angels. Y'all, they don't want me to shuffle right now, okay? <laughs> I gotta just take a breather.
What advice do you have for Capricorns? What advice do you have for Capricorns? Spirits, angels, guidance, ancestors. What advice do you have for Capricorns? Thank you. Addictions. So you could have addictions. Somebody here has addictions. Clarify. Tell me more. Maybe you're addicted to one aspect in your life and you need to balance your life with that Ten of Wands here. Clarify. Uh, give me more advice for Capricorns. Thank you. Master in your craft. So you really are working on yourself, whatever you're doing in your business, I feel like. Tell me more for Capricorns. Thank you. Okay, there's a lot of cards. Sagittarius, hesitant, prayers being answered. You can trust this new person. Meditate on it. Capricorns are very psychic, okay? I think we all know that as well. So I think if you want some kind of answers or here is saying anger issues, you got to meditate on it. And health. So health here is also another factor that you need to um, balance out. So addictions and health. Someone's got to take care of their your physical body. So yeah, I'm going to show you your cards. I feel like you are praying to whoever you you call on to for some kind of answer and it's coming. So we got Aquarius, addictions, master in your crafts. Sagittarius could be uh, involved with you. Uh, hesitance, prayers being answered. You can trust this new person. So take what resonates in your situation and leave out the rest. Uh, just keep that in mind. Meditate on it and anger issues and health. So I feel like for most Capricorns, I feel like um, you should be taking care of your health because money is such a big thing in your life that you kind of forget about the rest. So yeah, Capricorns, that is your reading for July, uh, mid-July to the end of July. So I'll see you for your August reading. You can like, share, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you for uh, August reading. Take care.